My name is Sarah Miller and I'm the Chief Executive of the Rediscovery Centre, which is the National Centre for the Circular Economy. The circular economy is really about keeping the value of our resources in circulation for as long as possible. And we can do that through reuse, repair, recycling, through designing products better by using natural materials, sustainable materials and biodegradable materials and basically live in a more sustainable way. We see ourselves as a creative movement connecting people, ideas and resources to support the community here in Ballymun, to support the environment and to support the people that we work with. Our entire organisation, from the visitor centre right through to the cafe, all of our workshops and our education programmes operate as a social enterprise. The four social enterprises we have here are Rediscover Furniture, Rediscover Fashion, Rediscover Bikes and Rediscover Paint. We take waste materials from the public or from civic community sites. We reuse, we recycle, we upcycle those materials and turn them into products which we then sell in our shop. And then, you know, all that money gets reinvested back into the company. Since we started in 2004, we've had loads of support, starting out with Ballymun Regeneration and Dublin City Council. We work with the Environmental Protection Agency, the Department of the Environment, Hubble, Department of Rural and Community Affairs. Also, we were provided with funding through Science Foundation Ireland to run Discover Primary Science and Maths programmes, working with schools to get them to start thinking about how the students of the future can provide solutions for sustainability. So we have 22 full-time staff and throughout all of our social enterprises we provide opportunities for people for training to give people skills to get them into work. The Rediscovery Centre's customers are kind of wide-ranging. There's something for everyone. We have people that come in to attend our public workshops, so we have people coming in that might want to know how to use a sewing machine, for example, or maybe how to upcycle a piece of furniture or how to repair their clothing, you know. So there's lots of people coming in to participate in those types of workshops. Then we have lots of kids coming in from schools where they might be engaged in one of our education programmes. And that could be anything from biodiversity workshops right through to engineering projects and maths initiatives. Then we have people just coming in to use the cafe or to shop in the eco store upstairs. So we have a, a retail collective where we have Irish designers selling beautiful homeware and designer products that have all been sustainably made. We have lots of people coming to Ballymun to see what we do here because they want to try and identify how at a personal level they can you know, maybe change some of their behaviour or their habits so that it can be more positive on the environment. And that's what we try and do here at the Rediscovery Centre, is try and help people consider you know, their impacts and make it easy for them. I think it's a really exciting time for both social enterprises, but specifically for social enterprises in the circular economy area. We're all really focused at the moment on how we can have a more positive impact on the environment. Here at the Rediscovery Centre, we're expanding all of our operations. We have a new research and policy team where we're really supporting that transition to a circular economy. Our education programmes are being rolled out nationally. Our social enterprises are growing and developing all the time. And I think what's really exciting as well is that we've moved a lot of our Activity online, we have a new digital strategy which is really exciting and it's providing us with a platform to communicate more effectively with the general public about the circular economy and to be able to showcase, I suppose, the impact of social enterprises within the circular economy. We want to scale up what we do here, but if we had a network of similar social enterprises around the country working with waste materials, providing training and helping to save the environment, I think that would be brilliant for Irish society. Even within the Community Resources Network alone, we are looking at carbon savings of over 120,000 tonnes and also the creation of over 10,000 jobs. Like it's, it's a really big impact and this is just one element of the circular economy. This social enterprise activity is creating you know, this huge positive impact on the environment and providing training and opportunities for people to get work. <laughs>